For veteran installers, making the switch to Timberfill is easy. Unlike paper-based materials, often recycled many times, Timberfill is minimally processed, yielding a long fiber length, which lends to springiness. The size and shape of the fiber support increased coverage, reduced settling, and elevate all-around performance. Running clean material through a blowing machine is ideal as it reduces maintenance issues and increases longevity of machine components. Debris found in recycled products or hardened materials, sometimes found in improperly cured fiberglass, can ruin seals. Other contaminants found in recycled paper insulations can wrap around augers or tangle in the airlock, putting unnecessary strain on motors. As with all blown-in insulation products, Timberfill is compressed for shipping and storage. The blowing machine has a job of loosening and conditioning the fiber for installation. Adding compressed bags to the machine's hopper starts the conditioning process, where augers break up the material. The augers move the conditioned material into the airlock, regulated by an adjustable plate called a gate. The more open the gate, the more material flows through it. The airlock can be thought of as a revolving door in a commercial building. The gate allows a measured amount of material in, and the airlock moves that material around until it reaches the high pressure from the blower. The amount of air provided by the blower is also adjustable. This air creates the pressure needed to move the fiber through the hose to its destination. Gate and air speed settings vary depending on the type of install. In an open attic install, we often want an open gate combined with considerable airflow to move the fiber quickly through the hose and project the fiber out away from the installer. When the air pressure is too high, insulation fines create unwanted clouds of particles. Depending on your insulation type, these particles can be powdered flame retardant, glass, clay, paper debris and dust, stone, or metal. With timber fill, any airborne fines are simply wood. Clouds created from too much air pressure will eventually settle. But by reducing airspeed and modifying technique, applicators can create a tidier, quicker overall installation. In enclosed cavities like a wall or floor, the insulation must be compressed or dense packed so it is self-supporting. To accomplish this compressed install, we reduce the gate to allow for greater back pressure. Sidewalls might require a low to medium airflow and only one quarter to one half open gate. Changes in environmental conditions, particularly humidity, can affect densities even when the same fiber is being blown from day to day. There are a few methods to determine the proper density needed for self-supporting install. The most accurate and repeatable test method is accomplished by filling a box of known volume and weight, and then weighing the insulated box. The size, shape, and consistency of wood fiber mean lower densities than other cellulose-based insulations for the creation of self-supporting installs. Once a self-supporting density is reached, the material will remain in place for the lifetime of the application. Timberfill and the full suite of wood fiber insulations offered by Timber HP provide new solutions to the North American market for addressing the growing demand to insulate better.